plaintiff, Brandy Henson, met the defendant in college, and they eventually became roommates. Brandy claims the defendant acted more like her mother than her roommate, and she broke their lease and moved out without notice, so she's suing. Defendant Deshenia Pleasant says problems with her and Brandy started after Brandy broke her TV. Deshenia claims she moved out after she and Brandy got into a physical fight, and she's countersuing for damaged property and a hotel room. Start with you. I met Deshenia in college. Uh, we went to hair school together, actually. We were not that cool, but we was always cordial to each other in college. Um, after college, we kind of separated, and then we ran back into each other through a mutual friend. How many and years was, later? Um, I'll say probably three years. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. um, and we were all, I decided to move, Jacina had a roommate, and I decided to move in the house with the roommate, the other roommate. So it was all three of us staying together in one house. Um, it was kind of tension between me and the other roommate, and she had tension too with the other roommate as well. So I decided, well, you don't like your situation, I don't like my living situation, we cool, so let's, you know, try to get a house together. It was okay in the beginning, but as time went on, I felt like she was not my friend anymore, and she was like my mom, because she would always text me while I was at work, like, can you please clean this? And she had a problem with how I did things. I would work seven to four, and when I would come home, I would kind of rest, then clean up. But if I left in the morning without cleaning up, she'll be upset. But I would tell her, like, well, what am I going to do about that while I'm at work? I can clean it when I get back or, you know, when I have some time, when I have time to. And she would always say she cleaned up as she, as she went along. And I kind of had a different cleaning style. Like, I would deep clean, and she would just wipe stuff down. And how often would you all talk about that? Um, I would get a text from her maybe two or three times out the week about the same thing. And I would tell her, you know, you can talk to me about it when I'm in the house or when I get there. Like, you don't have to keep texting me while I'm at work because I can't stop, keep stopping, looking at my phone to text you. Did that conversation regarding the cleaning ever get hostile? Yes, it got hostile a few times. A few times? Yeah. Defendant Deshenia Pleasant rented an apartment with the plaintiff, but she claims she moved out after they got into a physical fight. All right, let me hear from you, ma'am. Um, as she stated, we did meet in college um, between 2014-15. Um, we didn't really link back up. It wasn't three years later. It was more so like five. Mm -hmm. um, so we had a mutual friend. He was telling me somebody needed somewhere to stay. I had a hair room in that house because it was like a four bedroom. So I had a hair room. He said someone needed somewhere to stay. I gave up my room because I had planned on leaving anyway. There was no tension between me and him. When was this? This was in 2019. Is when I moved in with him. When I left, I left the next year is when she moved no, in. No, I want to go back to when you said you intended to move. You already um, had determined you were going to move. You yes. Said. When had you determined Last you were year. to move? So that's you 21. I'm sorry, 21 uh, February. February. February of 21, mm -hmm. you had decided you were going to move. Mm -hmm. All right. And did you tell her? Um, no, I didn't okay. tell her because she had just moved in. We wasn't really talking like that. Like, we didn't even realize that it was each other until, like, we kind of, I was leaving, moving some of my stuff out, and she was already, like, moving in. I was moving stuff out of my hair room to let her into that room. Oh, getting, coming in. Got yeah. it. Yeah. And you were moving your things out. Yes. I'm referring to when you told her you were moving from the residence. So I did not tell her because she's not the person that I was supposed to talk to. It was the other roommate that I had the house with. She's not on the lease. No, not the first house that we're talking about. Okay, I'd like How to we get met. To the, I, okay. All right. Yeah. I'd like to get to the next one. Um so it You moved. I I moved. Mm -hmm. I moved in with my aunt because I had a really bad asthma attack. Me and Brandy ended up talking again because she was having problems with the mutual friend mm -hmm. so she wanted to find something together i was pretty content but i was trying to you know help and also get back out as well um we end up finding a place moving in the first month it was cool by september the tension started so the tension of uh september 21 the tension started because she broke in a tv of mine and I asked her about it. 
Okay, so that was the first time you all had gotten into it. Yes. While living together. Yes. First time. Yes. Okay, let me hear from you, and you can tell me about what you're suing her for. Uh, she said it's the first time you all ever had a beef. Is that yes. correct? No, that's not correct. So we just was trying to figure out which room the person wanted. We were trying to figure out who wanted the bigger room, who wanted the smaller room. So initially, I wanted the bigger room because... I had hey, let's get bed. to the TV stuff now. Okay, I in got the TV the point. situation. Tell me. She's saying that I broke her TV, but I honestly don't know what happened to her TV. Tell Donna. me the whole scenario, how that has to do with the moving. Tell me from the well, beginning. Well, she's went for the TV, and I, mm -hmm. I I tried to figure out what happened to her TV. At the time her TV got broke, I had no motive to do anything to her TV at that time. So things happened. Arguing the the big argument started. M months later down the line. After and I the would television? Never yes. After the television. Go ahead. So I had no motive to even months break her. Months after the television broke, what were you all arguing about? We was arguing about cleaning up, cleaning up how we had to do two different cleaning styles, arguing about her waking me up early in the morning on Saturdays after I've been at work all day, the constant texting. She feels like she always had to text me and tell me something, but she would never talk to me when I'm in the house. I'm missing something. You say the argument about the TV yeah. didn't start until months later. The argument about the TV started when we first moved in the house. Okay, that happened. You all resolved it, and then three months later, you changed your mind about she resolving? She just stopped bringing up the TV to me. So she just stopped by bringing up the TV to me, and she got another TV. And then that was the end of that conversation. She never brought it up to me again after that initial conversation. Okay, but three months later, you all were arguing about something different? Yes. All right, and that's what caused you all to, you to move, obviously. You're suing for moving costs. Yes. Defendant Deshania Pleasant rented an apartment with the plaintiff, but she claims she moved out after they got into a physical fight. Tell me the specific incident and what was said to when you determined you were gonna move and why. The initial conversation about moving started in March of 2022. We had gone to altercation and it was a Saturday morning. She knows I work every day. So Saturday mornings, I like to sleep in. She had a client. She used to do hair in the living room. She had a client, and her and the client is in the living room talking real loud, laughing. You know, while I'm back there asleep. And she knew I was back there asleep. So I could just text her, can you please be quiet? Because I, you know I'm back here asleep. She didn't say nothing. So I had to get up, go in the kitchen, and say, D, can you, did you see my text? She was like, no, I'm doing hair like that. And I'm like, well, you know I'm back here asleep. Like, that's, that's being inconsiderate if you know I'm back here asleep. And she would purposely ignore my texts and not respond to me when I would say stuff to her, saying she didn't have her phone. Who doesn't have their phone nowadays? Nobody. That's not possible. After that altercation, she called the landlord and was like, well, I want to get out the lease. I'm finding a place. I found the place. And then one day I was at work, the landlord texted me like he called her Didi. He texted me like, Didi found a place in 30 days. Are you moving out? I said, I had no knowledge of that. So how am I going to be able to get the money to move and find the money to move in such short notice like that? And he said, well, she found the place. Either your options are you can pay the $1,200 in utilities and utilities by yourself, or you can move. So that was my only two options because I couldn't pay $1,200 plus the utilities all by myself. And so after that, um, she was saying she was going to give me time to leave, but I was telling her, like, well, I feel like I shouldn't have to leave because legally we're on this lease until August. And so she still decided to leave on her own, and I couldn't pay that by myself, so I was, I had to move. So I had to find the money to move, um, like, in such short notice. Like, I had to borrow money, I had to get loans. Like, I just had to do it in all such short notice. It was very, very rushed. Ma'am, let me hear from you. So... <clears throat> Basically, in February, when the whole move situation came about, um, she got upset that my chair was in the kitchen, and she said that, well, I don't think the chair goes in the kitchen. That was basically the first physical altercation that made me feel like, okay, this cannot, we can't do it. I turned and talked to the landlord about uh, breaking the lease. He said, okay, no penalties. Whenever y'all ready, just let me know. I then did tell her 30 days. Um, I wanted to go because we, we, it's not working out. Like, I'm unhappy, you're unhappy, we're steady getting into it, so we both need to go. 
She came back and said, well, I can't find anything in 30 days. And I said, well, how long do you need? Because I can't wait until August. She said, I need until June. So that's what we did. Oh. Leading up until June, in May, she, t she touched the new TV that I bought. And when she came in, I asked her, I said, Brandy, why did you move my TV and also some clothes that I had? She instantly went into not tonight, all, like she just began to get, you know, verbally abusive. So I ended up going in my room. So when I went in my room, she in the bathroom, snatching the shower curtains out, pulling plugs out the wall. So I'm on the verge of like, should I call the police or should I leave? Like, I didn't know what to do at that time. She ended up coming in my room and had her fist like this and did like this to me, like shoved. So I grabbed her hand and I said, Brenda, you do not know me. I continuously said that. And when I pushed her out of my room, I decided, you know what, I'm gonna leave. I went to the police station then. And I told my landlord like, okay, I can't do this no more. You know, I don't know what to do. So I never came back to the house after that day unless she was at work to like grab clothes. I went to the hotel. Um, that was one of the fees that I had on there because I feel like if you hadn't got physical with me, I could have been at home, but I felt like it was gonna escalate from that point. Defendant Deshania Pleasant rented an apartment with the plaintiff, but she claimed she moved out after they got into a physical fight. Anybody have evidence they wanna show me now? Um, I do have evidence of her um, texting me saying that she did she did absolutely break the lease, and I have my um, proof of my moving fees. Okay. What evidence do you have? Um, I have the conversation between the TV, my broken chair, and the receipts from what the hotel stay. What pages the conversations stay? regarding your damaged property? Um, the conversations. The conversation. Mm -hmm. That's what you said you had. Is, that's page seven. What I'm sorry, page about, four. What is it about the conversation? That's about the, that's about the TV and how aggressive she was towards me when I, um, I we had a conversation first, and mm -hmm. then I wasn't... First sentence I see is, I'm not sure how my TV got broke. Yes, so that I'm was... saying that? That's me. Okay. I asked her, I sent her that message how after... How did you later conclude that she did? So... I mean, towards the end, she did say, like, if you would have came to me respectfully or something like that, I would have paid for the TV. No, I'm, Your Honor, I never That's in the that? text messages, yes. Which page? That's um, page eight. She would have helped fix the TV. You ever offered to help pay for it? Oh, Your Honor, this okay. is my friend. Let me read. Okay. I, I can read pretty well. <laughs> you so sensitive, but don't want nobody to react to the way you act. Okay. Mm. You block my, this is her? All right, talking about how sensitive she is, meaning you, she has gotten upset and by something you did and you saying, I react because you react. So you block my devices, what I told you. You can't cook because I paid the gas bill or don't touch my food because I bought that food. You will feel some type of way talking about I'm selfish, yet ain't said or did anything. You move your mirror out the front, and then I text you and ask about the rent. You don't know how to talk to people. If you would have came at me respectfully, I would have helped you fix the TV. Okay. You, you didn't. So, Your Honor, what I mean by when I said I help her fix the TV, no, no. this was my friend. I asked, did you offer to help? Yes, but and not because I broke no. the TV. You don't remember saying no to me, Justin? Yes, I do remember saying no. So why are you now changing? Because, because I said I no read to... Because I the text? Because I have direct evidence? No, that's not what I'm saying. I didn't why are you changing the story? Sentence. Why didn't you change? Because when I offered to say that I'll help her fix the TV... No, no, I ain't talking about... I'm talking about just now. You just tell me you didn't. You just told me that. I didn't get to finish my sentence. I understand. I you gonna, did. What do you mean? No, you didn't get to finish. I was finish. going to say no. Are you I was kidding going to me? Help her you are finished, and your case is dismissed for perjury in my face, directly to me, until I no, read. I, I didn't get to finish my sentence. I understand. Sentence. You said everything that I need to hear. Remember? We argue all the time. Remember that? We fought. We got physical. That's called mutual. And so, yes, you all were supposed to separate, and it's called constructive eviction, meaning whatever happened needed to happen because you all were about to hurt each other. And you know what happens when there's a constructive eviction based on mutual arguing, mutual fighting? You all handle your own responsibilities. Whatever the consequences of your inability to stay together based on you all's arguing, you suffer the consequences separately or you work it out.
Cases are dismissed, suffer the consequences separately, and you lied too. You got two dismissals in one. You ever heard of a two dismissals in one case? That's how bad <laughs> you are. Have a good day. Both your claims dismissed. Oh, she found a better roommate and maybe I don't need better a roommate. roommate. I, I found my own place. Did you find a place while you paying for hotel fees? No. Oh, okay. Because you I said you found the place, but I don't think you found one. Cool. <laughs>